Pick a card, any card. Well, these might as well be cards. These are all the phones I have that don't work anymore. Well, actually they do work, they just won't run the software that I need them to run, so they're functionally obsolete. Stuff is incredible. Yet to some extent, we're becoming possessed by our possessions, and that's what we're going to be considering tonight. As we watch two videos, one the story of stuff, and the other one the story of solutions. So in what ways are we being possessed by our stuff? In what ways are we being redefined as consumers? And what do we do about it? If you were here for the last module, you'll know that we talked about our identity as the uh, rulers of creation, as the stewards of creation, as the servants of God's garden, as the neighbours to all other creatures, and as part of the earth family, even if we're a bit of a prodigal. So with all of those images of what it means to be human in mind, we now look at the ongoing pressures to have us redefine ourselves primarily as consumers. And then we'll look at what we do about it. What does it mean to pursue a better life rather than more stuff? What if the aim of it all was better instead of more? The gospel has a lot to say about this, and hopefully you had a chance to look at the uh, little selection of readings before this clip started to remind ourselves that Jesus was obsessed about wealth. He was obsessed about stuff and mostly about its ability to get in the way of our relationship with each other and with God. So Jesus, the gospel has a lot to say about this question of stuff, of our possession by possessions and what it is that we do about it as we pursue a good life and encourage others to do the same. I hope you find tonight as challenging as I do and also edifying and motivating to get on with some liberation from our possession. Enjoy.